Hello everyone, today we have the Billiard DOS virus. Now about a month ago my friend Tom KTW tested this virus on Virtual PC 2007. However, due to the fast nature of Virtual PC, the virus activated very quickly and it was diffi difficult to see what the payload was actually doing. So he requested me to do it on a standalone, which would operate at the proper speeds of that era, the MS-DOS era. So we have my Packard Bell 386 computer which operates at a few dozen megahertz. So, now we can see the payload as it was meant to be seen by the virus author. However, the virus has some bugs and won't activate unless it's actually the payload date. If you run it on any other date, it just hangs the machine and you have to restart. So we'll go ahead and run it and check out the payload, which is actually pretty cool. So as you can see, it explodes letters and characters out in different directions and in colors which is pretty neat so we'll just let that run for a while and that's about it really not much of a virus as the infection routine fails and just freezes the machine but the payload is pretty cool looking But if you were to have a copy that did successfully infect files, then you would have trouble operating anything on your computer on January the 31st, as this would happen every time you run anything. Eventually it does give command back to MS-DOS, however, if you run another infected file, this would just happen again. So as you can tell, that would be pretty annoying. It is pretty cool looking though. As you can see, you get pretty frustrated by this, as it's taken forever. On Tom's video, it just took a few seconds and then it was done. However, in real speeds of the MS-DOS era, the viruses took their sweet time. I guess it wants to clear everything from the screen. So as you can tell it selects a random character which it then explodes outward and then one of the characters becomes a billiards ball as it will hit a ball or hit a character and bounce back. However it doesn't hit anything it just goes away. And there you go. Now you have control back in MS-DOS. Let's run it again. Okay. Since it's not going to do much interesting since there's not many characters on the screen, 
that's about it for the Billiard DOS virus. Thanks Tom KTW for allowing me to do a video of it. And I recommend you check out his video too. Just be careful to turn down your volume first. And that's about it for the Billiard DOS virus.